Okay, since I've moved from my original apartment, which is what this whole floor plan is based on, I'm having to go by a lot of memory. Um, now, the apartment I was in had a double kitchen sink, and if I show you the CAD file here, uh, you can see that. However, in the one I'm in now has a single one. And you can see here of my cabinets that I uh, created, you can see that the spacing here is basically for a single one. So what I'm going to do is model a single one uh, after the one that I'm currently in. Um, and I don't have any pictures of one, so I'm basically just going to freestyle it based on uh, looking at the kitchen sink that I uh, have. So what I'm going to do is come in here and I'm going to select all of the drawers and the doors and what and I'm going to uh, select those and I'm going to hide the selection because we don't need them and I'm going to keep everything else so with this I'm going to just select all of these edges through here and in the top view I'm going to do a connect um, of two pinch them together to kind of come around that same part right there maybe a little bit bigger doesn't matter click OK and with those two selected I'll just do a ring I can even select them through here and do another connect um, and I won't pinch those very much I'll just bring it out this way More like that click OK select this polygon on top and delete it all right, that way when we extrude down into the sink there won't be anything that um, penetrates and we're gonna do a similar thing with the countertop here I'm gonna select these I'm gonna do a connect alright two and I'm going to make it pretty much as even as that uh, was maybe even a little bit bigger why not uh, actually we'll just We'll adjust that as we go. So I'm going to make it the same size as the cabinet opening above there. All right. So with that selected, we have that, and I'll click OK. Now I'll just come through here and do another connect. Oops. Just want two. And the pinch, I will do um, something like this. We'll do a pretty deep one. Uh, something like that. Click OK, and we're going to slide it a little bit. Um, I don't know, just click OK. Did I make it? Did I make it happen? No, I didn't. Select this edge, do a ring, connect, click OK. And now I'll just slide those forward. All right, and I'll go into polygon mode. I'll select that, delete it and select this one and delete that and that should give us a pretty clear opening right there alright with the bottom you can see I have the vertices right here actually I can just select this edge right here I'll just move that forward some get it out of the way so now you see we have the hole ready and we don't have to do anything with it because the sink that we create will have a small lip on it um, so it's going to cover up any of this. So we don't have to really worry about that. So in the next video, what we're going to do is create the sink. And um, after that, the uh, faucet and the uh, handles, of course, for that. So uh, save this file, save as, and uh, just call it 6.syncutout. Um, and save it. And there we go. Next video, we'll add the sink.